Hey, what is happening YouTube? It's your boy Cloud and we are here to kick off our Tales of Zestiria. Let's play. So anyway, let's do this. I have never played a Tales of game. Um, so I'm going to be going into this completely, um, completely new. I have no idea. I've played JRPGs before, but just never got into the Tales of series with Tales of Arise coming out in, I think, September. I've been wanting to jump into it. The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Okay, so throws me into the control scheme. View skits, move character, directional buttons, just don't use a one reset camera, display your map. Okay, so So yeah, this game's definitely definitely older. Um I just wanted to start out with the older one and then kinda go from there. Okay, here's our menu. But yeah, I've definitely seen uh, the trailer and stuff for Tales of Arise, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I got super hyped. Um, I don't know how much of this game I'm gonna get into, uh, with it being a JRPG, that they tend to run extremely long. Um, and I know uh, Scarlet Nexus comes out Friday, that is going to take top priority over, over any other game. So... Let's uh, let's see what this game has to offer. Okay, so the star, that's obviously the area I need to go to. And normally in games like this, I normally do the... Uh, oh, okay, it won't let me change. But uh, I normally run it in uh, Japanese for the, for the language and then just uh, go off the subtitles. Um, but since I'm doing a let's play, I figure, you know what, screw it, we'll just do it in, in English. I knew it! A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> Bow 
about time I found it. Nothing on my end, Sore. Miklio. Looks like you beat me this time. <laughs> this proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on. Oh, okay. This way. Her ah, that was too close. Could I get a little help, please? Surging currents! Twin flow! Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's speak to him. Really, the investigating for another time, we need to find a way out of here. Okay, so. Ah, this way. Stand on a save point and press X. drop it's been nothing but heights all day but i had an awesome bar relief to distract me yeah i bet you did hmm? it looks like someone's lying there hey miklio hmm? it's it's a human it can't be stop we shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. And <clears throat> he does uh, really not want to help. Dude. Damsel in distress. Haven't you seen Disney movies? We must save. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's this way. Oh, let me guess. You're gonna show me how to melee. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. Let's see some combat, dude. I'm excited. 
Oh, well, here we go. What's wrong? Call this thing a sword. Ready? Form martial arts with a circle and the control mode is set to semi-auto. You will run towards your target so you're close enough to attack. So wait. So in the in the combat, square to block. But when you're out of combat, it's where did it that doesn't make sense. Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Uh-huh. Ooh, flashbacks. I like flashbacks. Hellions? Yep, aliens. Horrible monsters that are created by the malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it. We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. And we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl. Before something worse finds her. Not gonna lie. I was a little jealous of that pipe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that throws me off. So, like, when you're out here, square. Square for the, for the melees, but then, like, when you're in combat, it's circle. Lots of ancient earrings. Is that a monolith? Point of interest detection. Searching for monoliths. Setting battle actions when you find one, press X to investigate it further. AP increased by one. Nice. Back here. We managed to escape for now. I do like the combat, I'm not gonna lie. Like that's my only complaint about it was a square and circle being flip flopped. Looks like there's a little oh, okay. Like, it looks like there's a little spin-off right here. Maybe I can find some items or something. Yeah, I'm not trying to plan on, like, a 100%, like, walkthrough. Like, hey, there's a chest here, there's a chest here, there's a chest here. Guardian was you to barely use. Ooh, that one hurt. Stunned him. That's that. Taking damage from enemies. 
HP, HP is equal to zero. Okay, do this kid. Battle is a defeat. Okay. Let's say that gel stuff's definitely for replenishing HP. A lot of save points close by. I'm assuming it's probably because there's a lot of cutscenes. The monolith. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Telling me how to guard. So with these AP, then. Okay, so he's got all this cool shit. Fashion. I have no fashion. Hat, here's that enough. Anything this way? Here, spiders. Let's go. I'm ready. Be gone. Ready? You okay, Mikleo? Arwen brings up your L2 brings up your map, Arwen brings up your like objective. I think we're getting close to that girl. Oh, your spider. Let's go. Okay. There's there's a dodge. Level up, learn to new art, titles, proficiency increased. Equipment proficiency free run. Use L2 and L to free run, which allows you to freely position yourself in the battlefield. Okay. I was wondering if they're guarding something. So, is that like stuff I can equip? Oh, no, that's items. So, I could go to... I'm in slow, I could do any equipping, skills, or... Recovery using okay. Better HP recovery. You could think of titles as unique equipment items that enhance character stats. Oh, I know that. I do like the stun. The stun rate. Right? I think I'm going to keep it how it is. Uh, oh, one more chest. Yeet, yeet. What do we got? What's this? Whoa, what the? I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. Oh, that's a rip off. <clears throat> so 
close, but it's still so far. Oh, hey. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. Spear chain. Let's see. Oh, so that's like a phoenix down. Hmm. Well. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connected point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Mm -hmm. Huh. You don't suppose... Huh? There. Take a look. Hmm? Go on. Look closer. Come on. We don't have time for this. Let's cut the fun and games, all right? Oh! Then let me explain. As you see... Oh, forget it. Let's just go back down there. <laughs> you never could handle losing. <laughs> so go back where we came from. See, so that's the deal. The staircase there coming up from below. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here? Think it could support a person? Well, well, aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. Psh. Okay. Seems safe enough. Yeah. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly, but either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> All right, let's see what's gonna happen here. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you all right? I was... I was in a forest, and then... Looking for this? She's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name. Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep. Nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? 
I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. Didn't even find out the girl's name and taken her home. What a champ. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay, but too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. We made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. Is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. <laughs> this is my village, Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false Our after interest. all. What? Up here? No. Down here? <clears throat> just is taking a uh, minute to enjoy the view, actually. Uh, I already learned quick stuff. That definitely looks like the stars over here. Creatures. They're goats. Goats? Are they usually this big? <laughs> Looks like we are there. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey, everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. This is my family, living here at the Shrine. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. 
That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh, man. I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well. Oh, dude, you're in trouble. Oh, so they're invisible to humans. That's why she asked if it was a performance act. Okay, let's go see how much trouble we got into. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I say... We'll kind of just cut this episode short. Um, we'll end it here, and then we'll pick pick up uh, next time. We, go, we got through the tutorial. We got through the, the combat stuff. Still haven't learned the girl's name. Um, but I'm pretty sure we will learn that shortly. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you the next episode.